and questions from the email, Salma sent us a question saying, is it permissible to polish our nails in any color if non mahram does not see us? So Salma is asking about the ruling on wearing nail polish and selecting any random color of choice. Would that be permissible? Nowadays, it is unfortunate, but this habit of wearing nail polish has spread among the Muslim women. And I cannot give my preference as a man because this is not something that I'm wearing, alhamdulillah. In the beginning, this was a habit of the non-Muslims. It was a custom of the non-Muslims. So at the beginning, the women, so-called the pioneers who adopted it, were imitating the disbelievers in their customs and in their traditions. And they're sinful, and they were sinful for that reason, and Allah Azza wa would hold them to account. Nowadays, unfortunately, it is so spread that Muslims and non-Muslims alike are wearing it. My preference as an individual, I do not like nail polish, regardless of the color. Especially when a woman has long fingernails and she puts reddish nail polish on it alongside with all the cosmetics on her face and the paintings, she looks like a monster who had just finished attacking its prey with fingernails and, and all red, etc. It, it, it's, I don't know, this is my own preference, but don't take my word for it. We are talking about Islamically. Nowadays, it, as stated earlier, most of women, Muslim women, wear this. So what's the ruling on it? Inshallah, it is permissible. This is the Islamic ru ruling. It is permissible. Providing that no strangers, male, non-mahram male, would see it. Why? Because this is a form of adornment. Some people like it. Some people would be lured into it or turned on by looking at it. So women must cover it. Secondly, of course, when she applies it, she cannot perform wudu afterwards. So she cannot pray afterwards. But if she is in the state of wudu and she puts it on, she can pray until she nullifies her wudu. Thirdly, when we come to the colors, now up till this moment, the colors are regular and normal among the Muslims. But when a woman comes and wears, for example, black nail polish, even among the non-Muslims, they would probably consider this to be like uh, uh, Satan worshippers. This is something repulsive. They do not accept it to be the norm. Though lots of punks and, and hard rockers wear it, males as well, but th this doesn't mean that we Muslims should follow their footsteps all the way. Secondly, the concept of nail polish nowadays has reached levels of extravagance. I have my nieces and some of my daughters sometimes, they spend hours doing one nail and you see some decoration on it and sometimes they uh, uh, may draw a face or give it six or seven colors at the same time. What is this? Is this part of adorning yourself and making yourself beautiful? But this is following the footsteps of the disbelievers. So I would not recommend it. And if it is extravagance, it becomes haram. But if it is not and someone wastes her time doing this uh, just for the fun of it, I would not say it's haram, but we should have higher aspiration to things that would benefit us in this life and in the hereafter as well.